I'm thinking of uh, one thing. Uh, so let's not make this complex application uh, a, a bit more complex by trying to create a ECS cluster and a Kubernetes or Kubernetes cluster in GKE. Maybe I'll stop it uh, here and show you using uh, the uh, localhost Docker itself. I'll just expose one a port for our uh, server. Okay, uh, inside our Docker file. So this is the Docker file which we had. Uh, what I'm going to do is inside this uh, let me just expose uh, the uh, for our uh, white server 5173 and also uh, inside this uh, storage starter code I just added uh, uh, this additional uh, this default configuration this server uh, we have this only this plugin so I added this server 5173 and uh, this host so add this and uh, then uh, deploy into your Cloudflare uh, storage worker after this uh, we need to tweak uh, so if I try open any one of the project uh, we don't have our server up at the same time I'd like to add in here simply iframe preview so that we can have a look at the output so just i'm going to change uh, this preview component a bit and then we'll be good to go and see this in action and uh, that's where we will uh, end this application uh, once for an uh, once for all okay so uh, inside this what i wanted to do is let me just try to create a reference uh, using user f hook and uh, uh, here I'm just going to mention this type this is going to be HTML iframe element and uh, initially let's set this to null and we'll have this iframe key uh, state variable set iframe uh, key and uh, this one I'm just going to set this to zero and this one whatever we had let that be uh, the preview text and all and uh, uh, I'm just going to let's uh, remove this span uh, completely and uh, here we'll have this uh, as it is and maybe for now I'm just going to comment this part and here what I'm going to do is uh, let's try to add in a uh, on click for this uh, inside instead of this uh, let's just remove this whatever we had inside this I'll use this navigator just to uh, copy uh, this one a localized URL so that we can try to view this in our browser as well so I'm just going to mention in here this localhost uh, 5173 and uh, we can just uh, show this toast also or uh, maybe I need to import this toast and I'm just going to show this info that copied a uh, preview link to uh, clipboard okay and uh, here in place of this general left i'm just going to add in this uh, link icon okay and uh, for the other thing uh, i'm going to update the uh, so let's just uh, remove this we'll just have two things and here we'll just going to update this uh, frame key that is whatever we had before i'm going to add in plus one to this and uh, that would be same and now uh, if uh, this after this if this collapsed is uh, true I'm not going to show anything else we'll try to show this div inside this I'm just going to add in this iframe with the source as our localhost 5173 uh, port uh, inside this what I will do um, use this iframe and the key let's uh, pass in this iframe key attach in this reference and uh, the width let's uh, set this to 100% okay 
and uh, height I'm just going to set this to 100% and uh, source source I'll just set uh, this to our local host for now I'm not uh, using any uh, remote cloud uh, for this uh, because it it's already too complex uh, we can uh, go ahead and use the ECS cluster and all or uh, GKE's, uh, GKE cluster and all uh, we will talk about that later but for now we will uh, go with this local host in this okay uh, I need to close this iframe so now we have this preview component like this and now we have this docker uh, thing I am going to build this now let's try to build uh, with the tag uh, this my username and uh, the virtual box as the image name and uh, the location of this image is uh, here so dot we will build this image and then try to run uh, uh, as a container and uh, we will see uh, in a while in action and i have exposed two ports one for uh, the preview 5173 and one for our server uh, the socket uh, listeners 4000 so let's uh, uh, it's done so then we are going to run this docker run uh, let me expose 4000 at the same time this 5173 5173 okay and uh, uh, the name uh, let me give this as this virtual box okay and now the actual image uh, this is our image name okay so let me try running this yeah okay the server is uh, running uh, the container and now uh, okay it's loaded and uh, I'm just going to uh, create uh, so let's try creating new project uh, since we already uh, exceeded this let's uh, delete a few projects test uh, should be deleted yeah it's deleted so I'm going to create here uh, the react project like as a preview one and I'm creating this a project once we create this uh, it's going to help us take to this okay so now we are here let me open this uh, uh, terminal and show this uh, preview so now uh, these are the files that we have so if i just check for files present in here this index.html package.json source and this thing if i try to run this npm install uh, uh, we will first install whatever uh, the dependencies that we have uh, as part of this uh, uh, file we will be installing so we will uh, just wait for this you, without installing if you try to run npm run dev uh, so it's installing now uh, you will see that uh, white is not found and all those th errors and now we uh, this packages has added so if i just run uh, this npm run dev we should uh, say uh, it is running on this uh, localhost 5173 and if i just refresh this so this is what uh, uh, we are seeing this so if i go to this uh, let me close all of them open this okay there is an issue with this okay let's refresh this okay i'm trying to open the content of this file let's go back uh, sometimes there's an issue a lot of issues i agree with that uh, but still we are figuring it out and building this okay uh, so I'm just trying to open this project again and here let's open this uh, terminal and inside this uh, there seems to be
okay there seems to be some issue with this content okay that's fine anyhow uh, what i'll do uh, here uh, let's try uh, okay if i try running this npm uh, now there is an issue in the thing okay okay let me open this I just want to show you this uh, okay if I just open this preview uh, project and open this app.jsx okay at least finally we have the content to see and uh, if I try running this okay uh, let me install this dependencies and post that okay so it's installed and if i try running this uh, and if i just refresh this we are seeing this preview and uh, if i just change this uh, uh, preview working okay uh, if i just refresh this um, I should save this okay yeah you can see this preview working is reflecting so the changes that we are making of uh, end of this project okay uh, please uh, like it and uh, do subscribe for more exciting content I'm just adding this and uh, let's see this in action okay so okay uh, okay server restarted so you can see whatever changes that we are making uh, is uh, reflecting so this is what I wanted to talk about in this uh, uh, project a playlist of whatever uh, our collaborative cloud code editor you know I understand uh, we thought of you know using ECS cluster or GKE cluster but I wanted to stop here using just the docker container and showcasing it for one uh, preview and uh, how it can be done and all those things so this is the end of the project hope you guys liked it I know uh, there are a lot of known issues known bugs but the uh, main motive of this uh, projects building is at least to show you the way how things can be built from the ground up and uh, uh, this minor issues can be figured out uh, once we do spend some good amount of time after this so that uh, will not be a big problem but I think I gave enough uh, value uh, for this project with this project to you guys and uh, stay tuned for more exciting projects it will be amazing trust me all you guys uh, have to do is stick with me uh, subscribe to the channel if you think there is a valid content and useful content on this channel please uh, do share and spread a, a good word of mouth to others so that they can come on to the channel and uh, watch the content I know I suck at editing I'm not doing any editing things I'm eventually learning editing so that I can give you a quality video output with the audio and also proper uh, explanation all those things figuring figuring it out eventually i'll get there and i'll try to produce the more uh, valuable quality content to you guys thank you so much